The Shapes Library can be accessed by clicking the Library icon in the main toolbar. You can also access it by clicking the Window menu and then clicking Library. The keyboard shortcut is Command-1 for Macs and Control-1 in Windows. Let's resize the library window by dragging one of the edges and use the slider at the bottom to make the thumbnails larger so we can see things a bit better. Shortcuts a lot includes over 300 cut files in a variety of categories in its shape library. To add a shape to your mat, just click it. Once it's on the mat, I can interact with that shape as if I made it myself. For example, I can resize or rotate it or anything else I want to do with it too. For now, I want to remove it by right-clicking it and selecting Delete. The My Designs folder is where you can add your own SVG files to the shape library. You can add folders to keep your files organized by right-clicking a folder and selecting Add Folder. Let's call this one Stencils. Click the Refresh button in the Library toolbar to recognize a new folder. And here it is. To add an SVG file, right-click the folder and select Add File, and then choose the file you want to add. And just like before, I only have to click the thumbnail to add it to the mat. You can also add any shape as a favorite. Just right-click the shape and select Add to Favorites. That shape will now show up in the Favorites folder, just like this gift tag. You can, of course, remove a favorite and also remove a design. Note that removing a file doesn't remove it from your hard drive, just the shape library. The shape library also has a search bar you can use as well. To add one of the search results to your mat, just click the design. The Fonts tab allows you to view the full character set of every font activated on your computer. Select a font in the left panel. The panel on the right will display all the characters available in that typeface. Let's increase the thumbnail size by moving the slider near the bottom of the window. A lot of modern fonts have glyphs, and this is a handy way to access them all. You can add a character to your mat just by clicking on it. Since a computer's performance can be impacted by having too many fonts activated at a given time, you can temporarily install a font for use in a project. Click the menu icon at the top right of the library window and select Load Font, then choose the font file you want to load. You'll then be able to access it in the Shape Library as well as with the Type tool in the Tools panel. Let's add some characters to the mat by clicking on their thumbnails. The Projects tab is where you can quickly access your Shortcuts A Lot projects you've saved in the past, as well as items from the Sizzix eShape store. To load one of your previous projects, select the My Projects folder and just click one of the thumbnails.